Hello, welcome. Cabbage here. This is a tier list for MR and lower rarity units that are released in global but have EX jobs in JP. Alright, sorry for that, but in all of my tier list videos, I explain why my tier lists are different from other people's tier lists. I want to get very specific so that it's easier for me to categorize so that it makes more sense. And I always try to say it in the first minute, uh, but still, people miss it. And so they ask, like, you know, where's Yuna? So in order to prevent those kinds of questions, I said that spiel in the first 10 seconds. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, we got our MR tier list here. There's going to be some big changes. I think I want to rethink how I want to uh, put people into this tier list. Uh, but let's start from the top. Uh, Mont, we're going to leave in no-brainer. I think everybody should take him to at least 115, but you might as well take him to 120 if you got the uh, materials lying around. Nasia, I'm going to bring down to top 120. I think all of the MR tanks are great, and I'm going to get even better with EX jobs, uh, but they're not good for all accounts, for all players. Like with Nasia, if you have Agrius or like Engelbert or somebody already at level 99, then you're not going to need Nasia as much. Uh, but for like my global account, I don't have a really good physical tank, so she's a no-brainer for my account, but not for everybody. And then also looking at uh, top 120, I'm going to take Ol and Seymour. I'm going to bring them down to good 120. They're still great and they're still necessary, uh, especially for like mono element teams or for like selection quests. Uh, you want attackers. But I want to leave the top tiers for the really special units, uh, like Ramada here, because uh, she's got Dispel, she's got Hide, uh, she has Hate Generation if you want it. Uh, she can be a slash tank, she's got a little bit of a slash resistance. And then she can also use the uh, Stargazer card, which is one of maybe top three vision cards in the game, in my opinion, along with uh, Exorcists. And so for that reason, I'm going to bring down uh, Durando and then Shuzelt as well to good 115. Solid attackers, uh, but their uh, job level 25 skills are not as good, uh, so you can leave them at 115 instead of taking them to 120. Uh, but Tsubiaki, I want to bring her to top 120. I knew I was going to regret putting her in good 120, but using her in the selection quests, she just carried my team like every mission, so she was great. But like her two sisters, she can do it all. Uh, damage, healing, tanking, breaks, support. Well, Sasayaki can't do healing, but uh, yeah, she can do everything. Okay, then we got uh, Baylo. I'm going to leave him at uh, good 115. Uh, again, he is a uh, main job knight, so he gets both the AP and TP skills. Uh, good for the selection quests, of course, uh, but also tower. He can kind of uh, disable the uh, espers in there. The niche 120 characters, I'm going to leave them all there. Uh, all of their 120 skills are very good. They make the characters, uh, but being like R and then SR, uh, their stats aren't great, they're not super fast, they're not going to do a lot of damage. But like, uh, but like support stuff and like status effect stuff, uh, these characters are very good. Uh, except for Severo, I was seeing people use him non-ironically to use as a counter against Megamont, and he did great. But Severo, he can definitely take a hit from Megamont, and then he can do great damage. So if you had no other option to cover Megamont, then uh, he might be a good idea there. And then we go down to a niche 115. Uh, let's see, Cooley and Zazan will leave there. Uh, they're gimmicky, and then I feel like their level 120 skills are not great. Uh, but Etua, I'm going to bring her up to good 115. She really impressed me. She kind of went beyond my expectations in the uh, selection quest. And then it's also very easy to level her because she is a handout unit, and so you can farm for her uh, mind spheres very easily. And then she's got great movement with her move and jump, and then like uh, both curing status effects and then also inflicting status effects. She was pretty good. Okay, and then we are down here at the uh, unreleased characters. Uh, Vistral, I'm going to put him at one... top 115. He's definitely a great character. And then um, especially if you're going to go for Rob 120 and then get his vision card, uh, Vistral is like his best partners. So he'd be a no-brainer at that point. The thing that makes Vistral special more than like maybe some other characters is like uh, Steelheart. That's a very unique 
uh, very powerful ability. Uh, good for PvE and PvP. But his level 120 skill is just kind of like a basic ranged attack. It's kind of like farther than any other ranged attack. But if you're relying more on evade, maybe you don't need to hit from a distance, you don't mind getting close, and then like maybe you want to use Steel Heart instead. Depending on what you want from him, you can leave him at 115 or take him to 120, but yeah, he's pretty great. And then we have uh, Leela. I think I'll put her in niche 120. At 120 she picks up a uh, ranged AoE attack uh, that has the same like 5 across as uh, Mediana's Limit Break, so I think she's good for that. She might even be a good uh, farmer for easier stuff. <laughs> uh, but she can heal. She's one of the few dark characters that can heal. Uh, she also has hate generation. She can maybe do some tanking for you. Dario, he just came out a few days ago. He is interesting. Uh, but with his EX job, they really uh, emphasized his attacks. Not his tanking so much, but they might do that in the future if they do uh, EX uh, sub jobs. But like, his Attract Blade gets upgraded, his Aroga Blade gets upgraded. So with that in mind, I think you do want to raise his magic, and then like focus on like Spirit or Magic Resistance if you want to use him for tanking. But I think he'd be a very special unit. He already is at 99, but at 120 he'd be even better. Yuni is a niche character, she gets some like, like don't move kind of stuff. If you need that, that's good, but... Yeah, I don't think uh, he, sorry, he is a he. I don't think he is going to be in the uh, good or top tiers. And then finally we have uh, Meriduk. I don't know, I'm going to put her in uh, niche 115. She's kind of, a, uh, kind of a bruiser, but Monk is just kind of not a great job in this game. And then her level 120 skill is a buff, uh, which will raise the uh, strike damage of people around her and then give her uh, defense penetration. So she's an okay uh, damage dealer, especially if you can get some uh, critical hits from her. But yeah, I think definitely one of the lower priority uh, MR units. But again, we'll see with uh, selection quests. Maybe she'll be really good in there. Okay, so that is the uh, tier ranking for uh, month 5 of EX Jobs in JP. Uh, there are no MR units on the uh, horizon on the schedule for the rest of this month, so there's nobody in unreleased for now. Uh, but I'm looking at the uh, future MR units. We're still only about uh, halfway through. So there should be a lot more editions of this uh, MR and lower rarity tier list in the future. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.